So we've got the new evolution. It is going to be Trailblazer's Turbo. Now, this is a requirement of a Trailblazer and a max of 85 overall. So already I'm thinking, well, that that's a bit soon to have it. Like, I've, I've not even seen the Trailblazer team yet. Um, obviously, we have nobody eligible for it. Uh, in terms of what we got then, it is win four matches in Rush Rivals squad battles, play three matches of Rivals, win three matches in Rush Rivals or squad battles, play two matches in Rivals, and then finally play two matches in Rivals. Now, obviously, this is going to be... I'm assuming more of a pace booster of anything. Uh, boost select Trailblazer players with Trailblazer's Turbo. Receive 2 plus pace and an overall boost to all attributes to highlight these outstanding players. Now, I need to know, who are these outstanding players, you ask? Because I haven't seen the squad at all yet. So we have got the likes of Haaland. I'm assuming we can't use him. We have got a big boy Palmer. Very nice. We have Kovac Shkilia. Uh, Trickster still, we've got Bon Matty as a 92, Stanway, Hemp, uh, Banda, none of them can be used, I don't think anybody on the team can be used, bar from the goalie, could you use the goalie? Do, I mean, if you need coins in FC25, lootbar.gg has you covered. They are the cheapest trading platform on the game. 8 to 10% cheaper than any others. 8% off if you use the code JT11 at the end at checkout. Plus, you get 5% extra on coins. With the fastest delivery system going. Used by many FC25 creators such as Zorki, Manny Plus, and even Pro Owners. So if you need any coins, head over to lootbar.gg. Make sure JT11's in the promo code and... Hopefully you enjoy. It doesn't specify that you can't. Like, obviously, I don't think you can. But, I mean, it doesn't specify that you can't use a goal. It's just a max 85 overall. So, it's it's a bit of a shame that you can't use him. So, then we have got... We've got Robinson. We've got Duran. We've got uh, Biena. I want to say pronounce his name. Uh, Garcia and Sad. So, let's have a look. Oh, and Job, I suppose. So, you do technically have a free evolutions that you could go with there. That wouldn't be bad. And it does keep them... As the evolution, which is quite nice, to be honest. So I'd probably go with Joby Baby more than anything. What do we actually get then? So we get a one overall, fair enough. One shooting, one dribbling, one physical, one passing, one defending, and two pace. Okay, so it is literally just a max overall, really, there. So probably the center mid would work. I mean, Duran's going to be a nice one. Like, I think as a inform-esque sort of player it's it's a nice upgrade for him but that's that's a pretty decent sh uh, striker especially with the power shot plus if he was to go say he was to go hunter 98 93 if he was to go with a finisher you've got a 91 striker still 92 on the agility 91 balance 99 on the shooting as well so i mean D duran's definitely an interesting one to say the least and he's coming in at 65,000 already so more than likely going to be quite cheap when it comes to the rest, I think Job's quite a nice one because the centre mid vibe of having it the whole way through is nice. Uh, obviously, Garcia is going to be a good one for that. Might be a bit of a waste on like a left back or a left mid or right back because realistically, you're getting every upgrade for them. So I would probably suggest out of these kind of groupings, Duran or Bellingham. Now, the one thing you've got to remember is I believe this is a two-week promo. I'm pretty sure. Um, it, I'm pretty sure it was last year as well. But um, does it, in fact, does it say week one on the Xbox? That's the big question. Because if it is just a week one, it means that we will have a second week of this. So more chance of a different player. So if you wanted to hold it, maybe, then obviously that is going to be a potential as well. Um, it doesn't actually say, just to check out these SBCs. So... I'm going to, well, I would assume it is two weeks, but normally, uh, celebrate standing individuals, I uh, could be one, to be honest. It doesn't really mention any weeks in here, so it's going to be interesting to say the least. If it is two, then obviously you could wait and see what comes out then. Um, overall, I think Job would probably be my pick for everybody, just because he is relatively cheap, but Duran is always looking pretty saucy if you don't have a striker already. Now, obviously, Job's going to go up the whole ones on everything, two on the pace, just makes for a very well-rounded card there. If you wanted to go completely defensive, obviously, 
obviously go shadow 9385 does turn them into an 86 centimid or cdm people are more than likely going to suggest that you could go with a hunter to make him more of a cam obviously it's going to give him a little bit more on that shooting which is nice or even just go with the finishing to be fair you can again make him with a bit more agility balance some nice shooting yes his pace doesn't quite go up to 93 but it's still a very possible card linking with bellingham as well the only thing that i'm going to be interested in because bellingham own what does he have is it a road to the knockout he has a road to the knockout if dynasties are next are we going to get the Bellingham brothers again? I, I with Joe being in here, I'm going to say no. I think because they've, I think pretty sure they did. They do it last year. They didn't even do it last year. Why wouldn't they have done it last year? Like that would make so much more sense. Like now, now it makes even more sense. But having Bellingham in the last promo and then Job in this one, I just can't see them upgrading Job again. Yeah, it's very weird that we didn't get any of them in, in that promo. That's so strange. And you sure it'd be the, the perfect two, really. Like, obviously, Jude is absolutely on fire at the moment in, in terms of his career where he is. And Job is, is doing very well in himself. Like, having both of them at a very good level in a center mid is always fantastic. So that, that's just very strange that they didn't give both of them that, to be fair. So I do think with, with this upgrade and, and with the actual objective of him... I don't see him in Dynasties if it is next. Maybe if they miss a promo and do it after, I could see maybe like a play star plus being added differently or maybe it's just different stats kind of going there, but it'll be interesting nonetheless. So a very quick one for the Evolutions, to be honest. It is just only a few of them to be uh, chosen as well. But I think my money would go on Bellingham for being free and then Duran for actually being incredible with a lovely power shot. So let me know down below and we will see for next week if we get a team too.